crow, crow, crow. <laughs> crow, you thought you had the best of me, didn't you? You thought that you were going to get one up on the rugged rebel. And you did. Then you thought you were going to get me again. And I know you were probably planning, scheming what you were going to do next, but you were attacked by me, and you never saw it coming. What happened to you at the FBXW Show 10 was just a taste of what's going to happen when you face me. Because, Crow, <laughs> this whole thing needs to come to an end. You and I need to get in that ring and settle this. Oh, if I had my way, I would have had a list of demands before we face each other. But, but I've realized that I need to face you. Get through this and make you learn a valuable lesson. Because when you step up to me, and let me inform you, you haven't been the first, and you probably won't be the last, but, Crow, the whole FBXW is going to see that you are the prime example of what happens when you step up to me. Because I am very dangerous, and yes, I was your mentor. I taught you a lot of things. But after I taught you some of those things, some of the psychology of the business, you got in to some magic. And you've made quite a career, and now you're gunning to end my career. In the other fed we were in. Yes, I did impersonate you, but I had a very good reason. But I gotta get through this because I keep hearing the voices. Can you hear them too? The people of that BXW, you? can you hear those what? voices? Listen very Rocket carefully. You used to be my fucking hero. How fucking crazy does that I know be? that you heard them. And Crow, you think that you, throwing me off a cell, playing all these mind games, that you are going to kill the rugged rebel. <laughs> that you have killed the rugged rebel. Well, I've got some news for you, Crow. You, I'm not dead, Crow! You see this blood? The same blood that's be that I had on show 10. It's your blood, Crow. It's your blood. Mm. And your blood tastes so good to me. I like the taste. I love the taste of your blood, Crow. So, <laughs> I'm going to impart on you a message. When we meet in a ring, in a match, I am going to leave you a bloody mess. I'm going to leave you so bloody and battered that even your own parents or your family aren't going to recognize you, Crow. Even FBXW, they are going to kick you out of the arena because they are going to say, who are you? Because I'm going to take that mask off. And I'm going to beat the holy hell out of you. Oh, and Crow, I got another message for you. After our fight on show 10, I took a little souvenir for myself. Something that you might find missing. This look familiar, Crow? This collar of yours? Does it look familiar? Because I
took it from you at show 10. <laughs> and I'm going to keep it as a souvenir because it'll show that I have control over you. After we meet in that ring, you're going to beg for mercy. And if you want this back, you can try. But I am not relinquishing this. I don't relinquish trophies of my victims. So I'm going to be keeping this in a very safe place by my side as I travel. And when it's all said and done, Crow, and I vanquish you, all of the locker room will see this as a symbol of why you don't mess with the rugged rebel. One of the very many reasons. So, Crow, Crow, are you truly ready for what you are about to face? Ask yourself that question. And the blood will, the blood will flow freely. Crow, I hope you're ready for the fight of your life.